Hello everybody, welcome back. A um, couple of strange accounts for you. Tick all the boxes, they're on an estuary, they're in two accounts in the same area. One account gets reported as Bigfoot because the witness had a knowledge of Bigfoot. And the other account gets um, reported as paranormal. So it's a prime example of a couple of the things we've been talking about over the last few days. Um, and this is the first account. This comes in uh, from the Daily Mail. It wasn't sent to me, it comes from the Daily Mail. And it's the Real Blair Witch Project. And it says, Two young women who went camping in the woods got the fright of their lives after capturing what they believe is a ghost on camera. Friends Lola Swan and Kate Channon set up a camp in a dense woodland near Bristol, but they say they became afraid of strange noises nearby. After fleeing home, when they became too spooked to see out the night, the pair noticed a ghostly figure on one of the photos that they took. The ghost is visible in the woods behind the woman's campsite, which they fled after hearing a child's voice speaking and other strange activity. It wasn't until the following morning when Miss Swan, 28, flicked through the pictures from the night before and she noticed the apparition in the photo. She said, I immediately threw the phone to the ground. I knew we were being watched and that picture proves it. During the night, we heard sounds of what can only be described as people walking around. Twigs and branches were cracking and breaking, like footsteps on the forest ground, but we couldn't see who it was. The pair were camping at Lee Woods on the outskirts of their home city of Bristol, on Monday when the photo was taken. The women, the women set up camp during the day, but as night fell, they say they began hearing strange noises and it felt like they were being watched. At one point, Miss Channon, 24, whistled and was horrified when she got a whistle back. They say their hammer went missing during the trip and they heard a child's voice at 1am, which was the final straw. After midnight, it all got too scary, and in panic and fear, they left. They packed up and they went. They likened their experience to the Blair Witch Project, the 1999 horror film. Now, I checked the area, I had a look on the map um, at the time, and I thought, this is absolutely fantastic. I, I wouldn't have imagined that, you know, you'd get an, a, a science in there, but when I went, obviously what I know now, it ticks all the boxes, it has everything we look for, especially being on that estuary. Um, and, I mean, it's within 10 miles of one, two, three, four, five other sightings. Um, but the other strange account that came in, and it's from exactly the same set of woods, um, and it came in, uh, let me get it right, I think it came in in August 2013. Just pulling it up on my map. There we go. Yeah, August 2013. And same woods, same area, same campsite. A Bristol resident says he witnessed an ape-like creature as it ate a piece of food with what he believes were improvised eating utensils. 58-year-old Harry, a retired man in Somerset, who provided a last name but chose to remain anonymous, told Cryptozoology News on Wednesday that he had walked through Lee Woods Nature Reserve on August 17th when the events took place. I usually take my dog, but lately I have avoided taking her there because she's been getting very skittish for some unknown reason, says Harry. Suddenly, according to the man, he began hearing noises as if someone was snapping twigs and making squeaky sounds. I thought it may have been a deer, so I went off the path to look, he says. This is when I saw this strange ape creature. It was sat in the brambles and it was digging in the earth with a twig. Reportedly, the alleged animal was doing this for about five minutes. Then he picked up something and began to eat it. Harry, Harry believes it, that this was a raw piece of meat. Then he got another twig and was picking pieces of meat from its teeth. But Harry was also aware that the strange looking thing appeared to be communicating with something off to the side. It kept looking left and was talking to something. 
and I thought I heard movement from where it kept looking. When I say talk, it more grunted and squeaks, he says. At one point, it started doing something with the twigs, crossing them over and over and over on top of each other, like it was trying to weave something or make something. All in all, I watched this thing for what felt like 25 minutes. It was only when it moved off that I left. It stood up, grabbed a large tree branch, snapped it off, and then leaned it up against another tree, then walked off. And I never saw it again. The Somerset resident says he was about 200 yards away and managed to discern the physical features of the creature. When it stood up, I'd say it was about six feet tall. It was old looking and it had grey skin. I could see that it had human features, some sort of face, but it looked more ape-like. It had a broader nose and cheeks and jaw, and the jaw jutted out. It looked like a prehistoric man from that the film The Land That Time Forgot, the old Doug McClure film. It was covered in grey hair and it had black streaks in it, mostly grey though. It had small breasts, but it also looked like a male. So I think he may be referring to muscle on the chest. I'm not really sure. He, he says it had a small breast, but the, he could see something in the crotch area. So I presume he means male genitalia. The man explains that even though he was confused about what he was witnessing, he is sure that it was not an animal. It wasn't a horse or a dog or anything like that. It was like an ape man, like a man and an ape together. It was like a man living wild, but a Neanderthal or something similar. I have heard of Bigfoot, the large American giant thing, but it wasn't like that. Um, they're like giant wrestler type things. It, no, it wasn't like that. It was a man and an ape combined. I searched for Bigfoots in the UK and came across your articles on these sightings, so I thought I would share this with you. Um, just goes to show you, doesn't it, that even when it walks like an ape, it's up like, like an ape, it's hairy like an ape, in the UK we cannot put that together with Bigfoot. And I was exactly the same. I thought it was a caveman, a, a Neanderthal, so I even thought that I went back through hominids to try and work out what I thought it was and the nearest looking thing I could find, but it was nowhere near hairy enough, was hide up against this. It kind of had that look to it, but much, much, much hairier. Um, but it does sound like me and Harry saw a similar thing, doesn't it? And I think that's the only account uh, we have in the UK of somebody that was lucky enough to sit for so long and watch it and to see one eating. Because um, I don't think that's ever been reported before that, uh, you know, someone was seen eating. And this account of Harry's, um, it isn't, there was one came in three days before that. Um, and that was reported to me. Harry's account was reported to Michael Backman of Cryptozoology News. But um, I, three days before that, I'd taken an account from the area. Um, so it was like two that came together at the same time. Um, also in, in the similar area, we've got the Parsonage Woods, the ape life beast of Brassknocker Hill, the tall, well-built figure of Southwick, and the Smitham Hill ape man. So in that very little area, that 10 mile radius, shall we say, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine accounts of a tall, hairy, two-legged, upright, hairy, ape-looking man. Now, if that's not Bigfoot, I don't know what is. So until next time, thank you very much. Goodbye. When I'm making the accounts and uploading them to video, what I normally do is uh, I write it up first and I release it as an article and then I go ahead and I make the video. So as I'm making the video yesterday about Lee Woods that you've just watched, a lady got in contact with me and said, I came across your story of the Lee Woods witness accounts and I've also had some strange occurrences happen to me there as I used to visit the woods a lot as a young girl and when I was much older. My last adventure there was so strange, I've not been back since. 
In my youth, we spent some nights in those woods, but there were lots of us, about 20 plus cars. We'd park in a circle with the lights on, so the middle was lit. One night when I was walking towards my car to get something, I saw red glowing eyes watching us, and it would have been about from the height of the bumper. And I've never told anyone about that before, to be honest. Then about 10 years ago, I was out in Lee Woods, a place I know like the back of my hand, and yet I got lost. I was wandering around trying to get my bearings, and I came across this weird stick house. It was weaved together with branches and vines, and it was open to the elements and you could see into it. I have no idea who or what made it, but the experience of being lost in a place you know well has stopped me going back, and I haven't returned in the last 10 years. So that just goes to show you that even as I'm putting an account together, another account can come in. Um, and as I'm clicking through now, I'm on the Beast of Britain site and I realise that another account has come in for the docking area. So I'm going to finish this and nip over there and get on top of that one as quickly as I can. So thank you very much for tuning in. Goodbye.